everybody, do a real welcome to Satchel, a repeat one and only Satchel from Steel Panther. Thank you, Herman, for that wonderful introduction. Herman Lee deserves a massive round of applause, not just because he's extremely good looking for a man of 30, 32, right? You're 32 years old? 32, 40 years ago, yeah. You're in your 40s? Wow, I don't know what kind of skincare you're using, but... I got some unicorn piss I can sell you. That's something I'm not afraid of. We gotta do what we gotta do. I mean, that's it's the entertainment business, and, you know, let's face it, there's a lot of shredders out there, and we have to rely on our looks to keep our gigs sometimes, you know? I'm not in it because I'm a shredder. I'm, I'm in it because I still fit into the spandex. You know, I've got a very strong jawline, as you may have noticed, Herman. Yeah, how, how do you get a jawline like that? Yeah, it's, well, you know, it's a lot of Botox. There's only so much you can do, though. I mean, a lot of it's genetics, and I was very lucky that my parents were both very good looking, and that's really all they gave me. They didn't give me much else, like intelligence or talent. It was mostly just the looks. Thank you for bringing your incredibly handsome look onto the live stream. And maybe you can play the guitar. We're going to test you to see what your ability is. But your handsomeness is probably going to cover everything up, you know, majestically, That's, right? I rely on that. I don't I don't rely on my, my licks anymore. I rely on my looks. We can jam whatever you want. This is all for a good cause. It's all to raise money for Jason and his family. And um, before we go on, let me just say, Herman, you, my friend, deserve a, a massive, massive thank you from, from everybody. I know you've been doing this like every day. I didn't realize you were in your 40s. You must be really tired at this point. The, my first experience hearing Jason Becker was over the phone because this is back in the 80s, right? Like right before Cacophony came out. And I had um, one of those relationships with this guy named Mike Varney. You remember Mike Varney? Oh, yes. Drop no records. Mike Varney used to call me all the time. He's trying to groom guitar players. And one time he called me and he goes, you got to hear this. And he played Jason Becker over the phone for me. And I'm like, oh, my God. I should stop playing guitar. It actually scared me. But, you know, it was, it was inspiring. Jason was the kind of guy who was like, Really, really good, but also very inspiring at the same time. So what's happening is this. Jason Beck is selling three of his guitars. One from the Perpetual Burn album, one from um, the Speed Metal Symphony Cacophony album cover. And obviously that numbered guitar next to me that you probably have seen videos of Eddie Van Halen playing this numbered guitar. And of course, we have a number of guitar players joining us. We also have a guitar from Paul Stanley of Kiss. Paul Ooh. Stanley have stepped up. He said, I'm going to grab a guitar from my tour. And I'm going to sign it to whoever that buys it. You would dedicate it to the person who's buying it for a great cause. I would love to donate a guitar too and, and put something up. I want it to be something cool so people will actually bid on it. We have guitars from Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, um, Andy Timmons, uh, Mark Tremonti. I, I lost the count, but a lot of guitars. Warren DiMartini is also donating one of his, I believe, Charvel guitar as well. So we've got artists from all different genres doing something awesome. So hopefully by the end of this campaign, we would have raised about half a million dollars. That's our target. And we're 50,000 plus right now before we even sold any guitars. We have George Lynch, former Dokken guitar player, woohoo, in the house to join us for George a jam. Lynch. He's, he's one of my heroes, Roman. I love George Lynch. And he's also just a fascinating guy. He's had many different hairstyles and obviously knows how to, to lift weights and pump up. Like. I, I don't, he does everything really good. I think he's more handsome than me and you put together. You he's know? That's another thing. That's another reason why, even though I love him, I hate his guts. He got all this talent and he got really good looks. And so he's like the Tom Brady of guitar. You just want to punch him because he's so good looking and so cool. And then, but you can't punch him because he's George Lynch. Plus he would beat my ass. I did a sound check of George Lynch yesterday and my wife. Oh, I thought you, I thought you said your wife said I was handsome. No, she, she said George was handsome and he, George is, you know, he's, He's quite old now, so, you know, he's kicking our ass. You know, when I was younger, I was a really good looking guy, Herman. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Me, 20 years ago, Herman, you would have been all over this shit. I'm telling you. Look, if I, if I was at the Steel Panther gig, I would have no chance to get in the front anyway. You know, the, the, the crowd, I need to fight through in the front. You got so much things to deal with. Well, you know, Herman's not going to brag about it, but Herman's been on stage with Steel Panther before. I told Herman before he came on stage, I said, all the girls in the front row are totally off limits. Like those are girls that I have sex with on a regular basis. And then what does Herman do? He starts going up to the front row and he's like, all over these chicks and they're going crazy for him because they're like, oh, this dude's Asian. I've never been with an Asian guy, but he's got an English, like he's from England. Oh, that's so cool. I've never been with a British guy, but he's British, but his teeth are nice. And that's weird. Uh, am I throwing a lot of stereotypes out there? 
I'm going to get your channel banned again today. I think if there's one person, there's either Sam Topman from Dragon Force or you that can do it. Then why don't we play some guitars, get some people, you know, get them excited by your eyes and your melodies and all combined together. And we, can we can jam right now if you want. Let me explain to the fans how it works. The first person that starts the solos on the track dictate the length of the solos. But Does I that mean I have to count the bars? Because Herman, that's like a big pain in the ass. This is why I'm in a band with one guitar player, so I don't have to worry about the other guitar player coming in and going, hey, I'm rocking now, and like starting to take my solos. I'm like, damn it. That was fun jamming with you. As a matter of fact, I'm getting tired of like having to play all these licks in Steel Panther. If we get to a certain donation level, we're gonna let Herman audition for Steel Panther. I'll let you audition for the band. That way I can just play a rhythm guitar and you can be like the lead guitar player in Steel Panther. Hey, you know what? If you give me a shot, I'm definitely gonna take it, dude. If we get a thousand donation, we're gonna force you to play guitar blindfolded as well. And I know it would take away half your power because your handsomeness would be cut in half to cover That's your face. That's the thing, by my half. eyes are very deep. Like, these are one of my biggest, most beautiful traits. And women have written about it on Twitter for months. I'm just saying. You heard it, chat. If we get a thousand dollar in into the counter, we gotta concentrate on his playing then to see how good he really is. So, well, I can tell you right now, I'm not that good, but I am very humble. Well, I actually won an award for being one of the most humble guitar players in the heavy metal business. Three years in a row, I won the most humble guitarist award. Second place was Yngwie Malmsteen, right? <laughs> Yngwie was in the top 10, for sure. Yeah. You, but he's you super, super was, humble. Yeah, you two had a battle. I, I, I was following that and it's like, I was thinking Yngwie's going to win it this year, finally. Well, actually, I think it just came down to the two most humble dudes were me and Yngwie. We made it to the final. And then I beat him out, mostly because I bribed the judges, though. For some reason, I don't know if you know this, Herman, it's so easy to win stuff when you bribe people. Like, all you have to do is give them enough money. Like, usually, like, 100 bucks will do it. There we go. You guys should just... Maybe you guys have a chance next year in chat. Maybe you'll beat Satchel next year. You're getting some pro tips here of how to win it. Satchel's eyeliner is on point. Unbelievable. Thank you. I did it myself. Years. I will say this. It's not easy to put on eyeliner once you start to go blind. In order to see your eyes... I would have to wear my, my reading glasses, right? And I can't because I'm putting on the eyeliner. So I'm basically just smudging eyeliner. Look at Michael Starr. He's the singer on our band. He can't put his eyeliner anymore. He's, he's like scribbling little marks all over his eyes and losing his hair and stuff. It's really cute though. You know, here's the other thing. I didn't have hairspray. I was looking all over for hairspray. And I didn't have any. There was one of the strippers that I had over and she was using my hairspray. Used it all up. Yeah, sorry. We didn't get a rider for today's show. I got so lost in that last guitar solo you were doing. I was like, I was like, what am I doing on Twitch with Herman Lee? He's the man. I can't compete with this guy. You sound great. Oh, thank you. You too. Sounding great. I like to look at it like this. I sound really, really good for a guy who's 73 years old, who has arthritis. This is the thing. Like, I hold myself to a different standard. It's a much lower bar. That's why we have an album called Lower the Bar. And that's the thing, like, about my band, Herman. It's like, we're an educational band. Like we're here to teach people how to live a more healthy life. Look at that guitar next to you. What's that guitar on your right with the fingers? This is an amazing, amazing guitar that my friend John made for me. Steel Panther has a song called The Shocker. And um, this is The Shocker. Two in the pink, one in the sink. 
And it's got a different kind of Floyd Rose on it. Like this Floyd Rose does not have a locking nut, but it's actually really, really great. It plays great. And this whammy bar sounds good. And it obviously looks amazing. 100 bits from Cicerov. Liana, 5,400 bits. So the bits, just so you know, Satcho, because you know, uh -huh. you're old and this is new technology. Bits are like virtual currency. If I say a thousand bits, you take off the last two digit, that means $10 donation. Ah, okay. I thought, I thought it was like just crackers or something. It's like if somebody gave you like cookies, oh, we got a thousand Oreos from Bob. I don't know what the fuck Bob is doing with a thousand Oreos because he needs to lose weight. But, you know, you could donate whatever you want, really. And we just had someone called Power Metal Ed ruin a hundred dollars. He's talking about some guy called Russ. Russ, I've never heard of Russ. Is that your brother? Russ Parrish? I don't what I've heard about that guy is that he's extremely good looking as well. And um, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I, I thought he was a cool guitar player. He was in fights, right? Oh, yeah. No, that guy's that guy's amazing. And I heard that he's amazing in bed as well. That's what I heard about that guy. We, you and I, we should have our own radio show. I feel like we're really vibing on each other right now. Satchel and Herman. Well, I mean, it might be Herman and Satchel. And that's just the humble part of me saying. Do you have OnlyFans accounts? Oh yeah, I do. I got like, I'm making like, you know, 50, 60 grand a, a day on that thing. But I'm naked on it, so. But this, this is the age that we live in. You know, we can't only make a living with guitar licks, we have to write songs, do OnlyFans. I also, um, I live in Vegas. I run a, a glory hole. Like, it's awesome. It makes a lot of money. I don't know what it is about glory holes. They never go out of style, Herman. Did you know that? Um, I don't know. Is that, do you get, do you have your own one for the rider? Yeah, well, actually, we just turned the rider into a glory hole. We just cut a hole in it and use that for the glory hole. Oh. It's the same thing. If you want to see me audition for Steel Panther, we need to get up to $47,000. Someone wanted to ask you, what do you think about Manowar? I'm interested to hear what you think about Manowar yourself. I think they're awesome. Are you talking about the Manowar fish? Because there's a fish called a Manowar. I mean, the band Manowar, they're not as ugly as a fish, but Manowar, the, the band, they're, they're great. I don't know if you know this, but we used to play Manowar before we went on stage because it gets the crowd riled up. It's heavy metal, some of the finest heavy metal out there. When you came on stage with us, remember at the Key Club? You want to know about the reason we played with you guys? that time. What happened is we finished a US tour, but we had the day off or two in Los Angeles and we said, what's the best way to get some free drinks and maybe chat to some women? Well, we're gonna fucking play with Steel Panther slash Metal School. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's if you want to talk to women who have very loose morals, you come to our show. Sometimes you don't even have to buy them a drink. I mean, if you're just a long haired dude in a band, especially a good looking guy like Herman, you're definitely gonna get laid on a regular basis. We all went back to our hotel empty-handed, just like normal. What did we do wrong? <laughs> just like normal. Well, I mean, that's the thing. If you really want to get some chicks, you got to spread your fingers out more. And when they see that finger spread, they're like, that's my man right there. Very rock like that? and roll. That was good. But right now they have unlocked the blindfolded challenge. That means you have to play the next solos blindfolded. Okay, well all I have to do is take my glasses off. Because then I'm pretty much blind. Yeah, but you're still too good looking with your glasses off. So Thank you. Herman, see, this is how Herman gets you to stay on. <laughs>
Oh my god, that was sick. Herman, I thought you left. Well, I hit a, a tongue harmonic. I know you couldn't see it. it was, what did it you do? A tongue harmonic. Oh my god, you did? You know, that's, that's unsanitary. But that's cool. It probably makes it a little bit, uh, lubes the neck up, makes it a little bit easier to, to rock with. If I use my fingers, I probably wasn't going to hit it. So if I use my tongue, if I don't hit it, people would say that's okay. Having that's so back heavy back. metal to hit the harmonic with your tongue. Like, how do you do that? That was just super sick. And you risk your life playing with your tongue on the guitar, you know? We have hit it. We've made it. Oh my God. We have reached the number. I got my audition. I can't believe it. We hit it. This is amazing. So I'm in the sweet spot right now. Like maybe take the glasses off. So look, I'm in my 20s again, mom. We'll be right back after this break for my audition. Okay, we'll see you guys in a minute. Oh my God, Herman. I'm here for the audition. Oh I'm ready God. to shred. Oh, that's cool. Really look amazing. You look really, really great. You know, I'm a real rock star. I got my makeup artist, my hair, everything in the background. I paid a thousand dollars for this for today. Well, can I get like a couple poses from you? Okay, there you go. That's a killer pose right there. That's a great pose right there too. And that, here's the thing. Here's the challenge, Herman. I want you to give me at least two kicks like this, like up in the air. I want you to spin around once during, during your solo. Shit, how do you do it with a cable? I don't have a wireless on. I don't care. Figure it out. This is your audition. Don't mess it up. Oh, I won't. Okay. I won't. I did it, Mom. I did it live on Twitch, Mom. You sure did. You sure did. You did it hardcore. You did the kick. You did a spin. The new guitar player for Steel Panther, Herman Lee. I don't know what Dragon Force is going to do without you, but... They're a bunch of nerds in Dragon Force anyway. Who cares? You know, this is the real deal now. I've transformed myself. Look at all these donations, all these things that happened. Another hundred dollar donation. Oh my God. It's insane. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, Herman. That was incredible. You got the look, which is all that matters to me. You got the attitude. You got guitar collection. You got a lot of guitars, so that's cool. I can borrow some of those. You also have your own wheels, which is necessary for rehearsals because you need to pick me up on the way to rehearsal. Thank you. He's got a brand new 1982 Honda hatchback. Can we fit a half stack in the back of your car? You can put it on the roof. Hell yeah. We'll put the amp on the roof. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Got fans turning up in my house throwing underwear at me. Did they come out of this computer? Or what just happened? came out of the screen. I didn't even know you could do that. It didn't affect your performance. I think it actually made your performance better. I think so too. It was a bit distracting, I gotta say. I know you're used to it, but in Dragon Force, we don't do so much. Usually it's like, Man. you know, Pokemon cards and stuff flying through the screens. And but You look stunning right now, and I'm so glad you're the new guitar player. You're ready for this. This was waiting for you. Thank you so much for the audition, and thank you so much everybody to, came to donate. This has been absolutely insane, the amount of donation we have. Thank you, Sacho, for this. Herman, thank you so much for doing everything you've done for Jason Becker, and thank everybody out there for everybody who's been donating. Even a little bit helps. Oh. Thank you for having me on, and thank you for doing what you do. See you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Yeah.